thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Zaji and today I want to talk to you a little bit about some sewing things. In particular, I'm going to be reviewing and sharing this make which is Simplicity 9175 which you can see on your screen here in full length. If that sounds like something that you'd like to watch, I encourage you to subscribe and continue watching. So I know that COVID-19 is still running rampant all over the world and we are not in a position to go to any holiday parties. But I didn't get to go to any holiday parties last year because I was suffering from a semi-severe hand injury um, during the holidays and also we had just moved into this house that I'm living in right now. Um, so. We were doing a lot. We barely even had flooring in the living room to be able to put our Christmas tree up. So, um, yeah, didn't really get to do much holiday partying last year. And I decided that I'm not going to let COVID stop me. I'm still going to be fully glamorous and fully fancy in my own house because I don't have to look cute for anybody but for me. And I always want to look cute. So this was one pattern that I felt like would be comfortable but still looks really nice and put together if you are going to have, you know, maybe a small dinner and you want to be dressed up or maybe you are going to a restaurant or something for the holidays. Who knows? Um, there's lots of ways that you could be fancy this holiday and still be socially distanced. But I decided that I was still going to make some holiday wear and so you'll be seeing those pop up on my channel so I encourage you to subscribe for that reason alone to see the glam. But this is one dress that I feel like is such a beautiful, beautifully comfortable piece to wear during the holidays. Simplicity 9175 you all I am obsessed with this pattern. I already know that I'm going to make another version and I already do have the fabric ready to go whenever I do decide to make it. So this pattern I'll go into detail on the adjustments that I made and we'll talk about the fabric and then I'll talk about any changes that I made to the construction after that. So for this pattern I made version C and it has these beautiful split sleeves and if you've watched this channel for any amount of time thank you for watching but also um, you know that I am obsessed with split sleeves right now I am living 100% for split sleeves. <laughs> Anytime I see a pattern that has that option or that design feature on there I 100% go towards it. So if you haven't heard 100% is where I'm at with this pattern. So um, I made version B, I did the sleeves for version B and the neckline for version B, but I am absolutely thinking about making version um, A without the Pareo skirt that kind of goes over. I think that's what it's called. Um, I do want to make just a long sleeve turtleneck version of this dress because I love it so much. Um, this dress has two fish eye darts in the back which um, when I made my adjustment I just lengthened the dart um, it's the same <laughs> that's the only thing I did about that um, in terms of the adjustments but the fisheye darts I think were an excellent detail especially for really making this dress fit the way that it does and I love it I made a size 12 and I did make the adjustment of adding two inches to the waistline just so that it the silhouette fit my body shape a little bit better um, I do know that with fitted garments with Simplicity, they typically have the side waist be about eight to eight and a half inches, and that was true for this pattern as well. My side waist is ten and a half inches. Sorry about my email. Uh, my side waist is ten and a half inches, so I went ahead and added the two inches, and I think that that fits me perfectly now. I did also have to take just a little, just a little bit off from the armpit down to the side um, or probably right around the hip line. I took about an inch off there as well just to make the dress fit me that little bit tighter. I took overall, um, I said an inch already, I did. <laughs> All of my construction was done on my serger. 
so what I did to make that one inch adjustment at the side was to just go in and cut right where my serger stitching is that's where I lined up my blade of the serger um, and just cut that right off and put a new line of stitching there and I think that that worked out perfectly it now fits me as the model as it fits on the model and I think um, that was an adjustment that really set this dress from being oh this is cute to oh girl she's fire um, so when you are making this pattern or if you're thinking about making this pattern I would definitely try on the dress before you say it's done just to see if it does fit you as tight or as loosely as you prefer I should technically be wearing a size 14 with simplicity but I find that size 12 is usually where I end up fitting at because I prefer less ease than they give you and what is drafted into the pattern so um, that's something to think about take a look at the finished measurements and compare that with your own body measurements I would say that anywhere between um, zero and maybe negative one and a half inches of ease would be kind of where you want to sit at with this pattern and also that will depend on the fabric that you use um, for the hems on this dress I use my cover stitch and I use a chain stitch which is a stretchier straight stitch although with the design features like the sleeves I think that you very well could get away with using just a straight stitch on your serger or on your serger on your sewing machine but just making it a little bit longer and that would be fine for doing the split hem um, detail on this pattern if you're making the tighter sleeves the fitted sleeves um, yeah definitely not a straight stitch it does have to stretch over your wrist and such so you do want to maybe use a zigzag for that or a cover stitch or whatever is your preferred stretch stitch for hems but for mine I use the chain stitch and I think a straight stitch would work as well for the hemline I did do a chain stitch as well just because it is stretchy and there is a good bit of movement um, at the bottom of this dress which I wasn't expecting I wanted I not wanted but I was expecting that the dress would be tighter but for right now the dress is um, a good length I think it's pretty easy to walk in this dress it's definitely not a dress that you're gonna you know sprint out with just because of the length um, but it is pretty comfortable I'd say to walk easily um, around in this dress so um, you might be able to get away with doing a non stretch stitch for the hem but I probably wouldn't chance it if I were you the fabric that I use for this pattern comes from Minerva.com I have linked that down below as I mentioned already but this is a Lady McElroy water color <laughs> water color scuba fabric and if you don't know I love scuba I love rayon but I love scuba and yeah rayon is like my number one fabric but scuba is pretty close under that because it is so versatile you can use scuba for almost any pattern you can use it in a woven pattern you can use it in a knit pattern and I just love how warm it is in the winter time because it is made with synthetic fibers I feel like you just you know that heat just stays trapped up in there and I need that and as I've mentioned and as I've said in all of the videos recently I'm trying to be warm I'm trying to be warm and that's the most important thing to me yes you can be cute girl but you need to be warm too and so um, what I really am loving is that um, the scuba looks really fancy scuba typically does just elevate a look I think to be just a little bit more party wear in my opinion um, more so than like if you were just using a sweater knit or if you're using just a, a rayon knit or something like that or a bamboo knit they're the same thing um, the only difference with using scuba is that you will want to top stitch around the edge of anywhere where it's folded over because it will kind of just be puffed so you will want to top stitch if you're going to use scuba with this fat with this pattern and you'll want to do that really with any scuba pattern you want to top stitch anywhere where there's a seam or any folds to reduce the bulkiness of the look of this fabric because it is quite stable so I did that as well with my chain stitch um, 
for that part of the design you definitely could do just a straight stitch as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and seeing me talk about how cute I think this dress is. Let me know if you're interested in making this pattern or if you have made it yourself down below. And if you have made it yourself or are thinking about making this pattern, what fabrics are you going to use? I know I chose scuba, which is not at all what it said. <laughs> but um, let me know what fabrics you're thinking about using. Also, please do give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't and you've watched this video to the end. Let's be friends, girl, and we can talk about fabric and patterns all the time. But with that, I'm going to love you and leave you. Bye!